Hi, welcome back. Today's topic is purchase. Here I will show you how to calculate credit purchase. We have a question which is taken from Cambridge A level accounting past paper. Okay, so before we start, let us have a look at the question. Number one, we have here some asset and liabilities. What do we have? We have here cash in hand, bank overdraft, furniture and fittings, trade payables, inventory, and rent prepaid. So here our relevant item is trade payable. It is opening trade payable. How we understand? Here the date is mentioned. First January 2021. Okay, then what do you have? So number two here, the following summary of receipts and payment for the year ended 31st December 2021. Here our relevant item is trade payable $93,100. Okay, so this will come to calculate here purchase. Okay, then we have here number three, Rafik purchases all goods for resale on a credit basis okay all sales are on cash basis okay a cash discount of five percent was received when Rafik settled death with trade payables during the year ended 31st december 2021 okay then here number six at 31st december 2021 trade payables total 9230 okay so here we have two adjustments which are relevant to calculate our purchase okay so here we have discount receipt this will come to calculate purchase at the same time we have here closing trade payables so we have all our information now so what is the complicated thing complicated thing is when you have many information on the question but you don't know what items to be extracted to calculate the credit purchase here this question is very big many informations so you need to find out first relevant information relevant item to calculate the purchase okay so we already highlighted the relevant items now we will know the formula first then we will calculate credit purchase okay so now let us uh, write the formula first to calculate credit purchase okay so here we know credit purchase equal to payments Payments to supplier or trade payables plus closing trade payables plus discount receipt plus purchase returns minus interest overdue minus opening trade payables okay great so here you need to remember this formula now we will find the value the amount from the question okay so what is your first item here payment to supplier okay so let us have a look at there so look at here payments okay it is it is bank statement here we have trade payables ninety three thousand one hundred dollar okay so as it is taken from the bank statement that is this payment is made by bank transfer or check okay so whatever that is not our headache so here we will take this amount ninety three thousand one hundred dollar so we will write here so let us write here payment to supplier it is ninety three thousand one hundred dollars okay then plus closing tp closing trade payables okay so here we have closing trade payables so here adjustment number six at 31st december 2021 trade payables total nine thousand two hundred thirty dollar okay so this is the closing trade payable how you understand it is the amount at the end of the financial period okay so this business started on 1st january 2021 and ended at 31st december 2021 okay so this is the balance at the last day of the financial period so it is a closing balance don't be confused okay so let us write here 
$9,230 closing balance. Okay, good. Then we have here discount receipt. Yes, we have a discount receipt related adjustment. Okay, so let us have a look at the number five. A cash discount of 5% was received when a fixed settled debt with trade payables during the year in the 31st December 2021. Okay, so during the year in the 31st December 20, 2021, what amount of it paid? Graphic paid $93,100. Okay, it is a payment to supplier. So he paid $93,100 after settle the discount. Okay, the rate of discount was 5%. Okay, so 5% already he received from the total amount of trade payables. Okay, so here this amount is not 100%. Okay. 5% discount deducted, then this amount is paid. That means this is the amount for 95%. Okay, so 5% is here discount. Now we need to calculate our 5%. Okay, so here 5%, how we calculate 5%? $93,100. It is the amount for 95%. Okay, so we will divide this amount by 95 and we will calculate our 5%. Okay. So point to be noted, if you directly multiply 5% by $93,100, your discount amount will not be correct, okay? It will be incorrect because already discount deducted from the amount, okay? So here now, if we calculate, we get here. So it is here $4,900, okay? So once again, the 5% will calculate for discount and 95% so 100% minus 5% equal to 95 so we wrote here 95 and this is the amount $93,100 for 95% okay so good so we calculated discount it is $4,900 so we will add here plus $4,900 okay then we have purchase return in the question no we don't have purchase return so we don't have to write we don't have also interest overdue so we don't need to write this amount but if you have on the question these amounts you must write okay otherwise your answer will be incorrect okay now we, we have here opening tp trade payables okay so obviously we have opening trade payables on first january 2021 the businesses assets and liabilities were as follows so here you see the third last item it is trade payables $11,870, okay? So, 1st January 2021, obviously, it is the beginning of the financial period, okay? So, it is the opening balance, easy to understand. So, now, we will substitute this amount. So, let us subtract here, minus $11,870, okay? So, good. Now, what to do? Now, we need to add these all three items. And from the addition, we have to subtract this, okay? So if we if we do all those calculations, we get here $95,360, okay? So what is the amount? This is our credit purchase, okay? So this is very simple to calculate, but you must know this formula. So this is not complicated, just you need practice.